Today I'm talking about gels for curly hair. When I pick a gel, there are four things that I take into consideration. Number one, how much hold is the gel giving me? Number two, how much shine is the gel giving me? Number three, how easy is the gel to work with? And number four, how much volume the gel gives me? I've arranged all of the gels in this video in such a way that I'll start from the softest hold gels and then take you towards the hardest hold gels. While I do that, I'll talk about the performance of each gel. But also keep in mind that my experiences with gel, obviously these things are super subjective. It is quite possible that these gels don't perform quite the same on your hair. So definitely keep that in mind. We have so many options that I have to go through today. It's going to be a long video. Let me also tell you that this video has taken me so much time to create. Because the amount of experimentation, the amount of failed wash days, bad wash days that I've had just to create this video has been absolutely insane. To be very honest, I'm very happy that I'm done experimenting with these gels. I also want to say that my hair is very finicky. I've never heard anyone complain about gel the way I do. Maybe all of the opinions that I'm expressing today might not hold true for you. But that way, don't worry, because even if I don't like a particular product, I have a good sense of what works for you guys. So just because a gel doesn't work for me doesn't mean it's not going to work for you. All right. So the first product, the Arata gel, this is from their original line. This is the lightest hold gel that I've tried so far. It has some excellent ingredients and the shine that you get with this gel, I think this is the most shine that I've ever had on my hair. If I can find footage of what my hair looked like when I use this gel, I'll put it up right here. This gel also gives me a decent amount of volume, but my curl clumps don't last too long with it because obviously this is a soft hold gel. The gel is also relatively easy to work with because once you put it on your hair, you do get that gloopy feeling which really allows you to scrunch. So in that way, I feel like maybe a lot of you would appreciate this gel. Personally, I don't like it because it's a soft hold gel, but I also have to remark that this is the most shine that my hair has ever had. Does it give me the most insane volume? No, I would say the amount of volume that this gives me is medium. But if you're a beginner to CG and you have a lot of damage, and you don't mind a soft hold gel, then maybe this is a good pick for you. Next is the WOW Skin Science Aloe Vera Gel. So this is a gel that I stopped using ages ago. I think I used this like on month one of my journey and then I quickly gave up because again, this does not give me too much hold at all. It did not give me any volume either. A lot of people are afraid to use gels in the first place and so maybe aloe vera gel or even flaxseed gel is a good way to begin your CG journey. So in that way, some of you might like the gel. I personally did not like the experience because the hold is very low, the volume is very low, the shine was nice. I'm not going to say it was the best shine that I've ever had but it had very nice decent shine. It's a very watery gel, so it's a little difficult to work with this, especially if you're beginning. If you scrunch too much with this gel, your gel cast will also break apart. So this is just something to be careful about. But if you're a beginner, then maybe aloe vera gel or even DIY flaxseed gel is something that you could start with. Because I know when we hear the word gel, all these negative aspects come into mind. And so I feel like beginners would probably be a little more comfortable with like an aloe gel or a flaxseed gel. Personally, it doesn't work for me because I put a lot of effort into my wash day. And if it's just going to last for two, three days, it makes no sense. But one use that I definitely do put this gel to. So my smart watch is a rubber watch and I've been wearing it and I get like these rashes over here. They're pretty bad. This aloe gel has really helped me reduce and take care of the rashes. Should I change the straps of the watch? Should I start wearing it on the other hand? If you have any advice for me, comment down below. The next gel is the Alps Goodness gel that I picked up. This is available on Amazon. This is a very interesting gel. It's more like a pomade. Let me show you. This is a gel that you have to rub into your hands and emulsify it with water before you use it. I was very excited to see the texture of this because obviously it was something new. And did it give me that gloopy feeling? Was it easy to work with? Absolutely, 100%. Let me explain what I mean by the gloopy feeling. So recently I got a comment saying that if you scrunch too much, then you're going to break apart your curl clumps and it's going to cause frizz. And I thought about it and I didn't relate to it because even before I start scrunching, I make sure I use the gel. I'm sure you guys have seen me style and if you've noticed, I use leave-in conditioner 
then I use gel, then I create my curl clumps and then I scrunch. A lot of people use leave-in conditioner, create their curl clumps and then scrunch and then use gel. I prefer to apply gel before I create my curl clumps because the gels give you this nice gloopy feeling. Your hair feels like plasticine, not plasticine per se, but your hair feels malleable and ductile. You can really shape it, go ahead and shape it because it has that nice gloopy seaweed-like feeling. It gives me a really good base. So when you scrunch, it feels like seaweed, it feels gloopy, it feels slimy. It's easy to scrunch, it's easy to create those beautiful robust curl clumps. And when I'm talking about gels being easy to work with, this is what I'm talking about. Does it make your hair feel gloopy? So this gel, it was very easy to work with. As soon as I was scrunching my hair, I could feel that nice mushy gushy feeling. Now, in my book, if you are super delicate, and you are scrunching with care, you're not going crazy and being like a maniac scrunching, then you can also scrunch 50 times. It is not going to cause frizz. And having that nice, beautiful gel as a base will give you that gloopiness, will give you that sliminess. It'll make it very easy to work with. It'll also ensure that your clumps are nice and robust while you scrunch. In that sense, I really enjoyed this gel. But it gave me no volume, I SOTC'd, my hair was looking fine and then in an hour, all of that shine was gone, my hairstyle looking really dull. The clumps were not looking robust at all and in that sense, while working with it, I felt like this is going to be an amazing gel. But maybe 3-4-5 hours after I SOTC'd, I was completely over it because the clumps were not robust at all and it did not give me any volume either. In fact, my hair looked super dull. Now, please understand that I'm talking without filters and I'm giving you my honest opinion. But all of this is super subjective because the way in which I've experienced gels, I don't think I've ever heard anyone online talking about their experiences with gels and having so many issues. So please keep that in mind. As you guys can tell, I'm starting with like the softest hole gels and then I'm going towards the hardest hole gels. So the next one that I want to talk about is the one by Northwish. Now this is also like a soft hole gel, but compared to the ones that I spoke about before this, obviously this is going to give you better hold. Now this gel is a really, really nice gel. A lot of you will like it. I personally don't because it's a soft hole gel, but it is very easy to work with. It gives you that immaculate gloopy feeling. It gives you very nice shine, but sadly, it doesn't give me volume. But I feel like if you really enjoy soft hold gels, then maybe this is something that you really enjoy. My husband is absolutely obsessed with this gel. Maybe it has something to do with the fact that it gives you that nice gloopy feeling. It doesn't give you any residue. It gives you very nice shine to the hair. And it also has this unisex fragrance. I did receive a few DMs from men who wanted to try out gels something super natural. I feel like both the Arata Original Gel and the Northwish Gel would be good options. Next, I want to talk about the Fix My Curls Defining Hair Gel. This is a protein gel and it gives you really nice shrinkage, but again, it is a soft hold gel. It was not easy to work with at all. If you're using this gel, then you have to be really careful with how much you scrunch because this is that kind of gel that is not easy to work with. You scrunch one time too many and your curl clump will break apart and you will experience wet frizz. Another thing that I did not like about this gel is that the fragrance is way too strong. If you're looking for a soft hole gel that is a protein option that gives you very decent shrinkage, then maybe you'd enjoy this gel. Personally, what I experienced was a couple of hours after I had SOTC'd, my hair looked completely dull. I could not wear my results all throughout the week and so personally, this is not my favorite. Next, we come to the Fix My Curls Curl Quenching Flaxseed Jelly. I feel like a lot of you would enjoy this gel. It gives you very nice shine, it gives you very little frizz. This is a medium hole gel, which means that compared to the other gels that I just spoke about, your curl clumps will be a little more robust. Unfortunately, it didn't really work on my hair because I felt like it weighed my hair down and it didn't give me any volume. I'll insert some footage here of what my hair looked like when I used this gel. As you can see, everything is great. The curl clumps are very nice, the shine is very nice, but there is no volume at all. So this is what my hair looks like when I don't have any product on it. I fall under the medium density category. The only reason I define my hair as low medium density is because, let's say there's a scale here, then I fall towards the lower side of the medium density on the spectrum, if that makes sense. 
when I use this gel, everything is fine. My curl clumps are great. I can wear my results for like two, three days. It gives me some kind of robustness. The shine is very nice. It works really well against frizz, but if it doesn't give me volume, then for me, it doesn't make me feel happy because I went through so many different steps on my styling. And if a gel is going to give me the same results as a Raken scrunch on my hair and it's going to make me look like I have two and a half strands of hair on my head, obviously I'm not going to be happy. But when it comes to you guys, I feel like a lot of you would really like this gel. It works really well in humid conditions and so I feel like this is something that you guys would really appreciate. This is a very nice gel to work with. It gives you that nice gloopy feeling. You can scrunch to your heart's desire. Your curl clumps are not going to break. If you work delicately, you're not going to have any wet frizz. And so if you're looking for a medium hold gel, this would definitely be my recommendation to you. But just note that this gel didn't give me too much volume. Next, I want to talk about another gel that gives you medium hold a little better than the last gel that I spoke about because I've arranged all of the products in this video in such a way that we're going from the softest hold to the hardest hold. So the next product is the Ultra Defining Hair Gel from Curl Up. I feel like this is a gel that you guys would really, really like. It gives you a little more than medium hold. It does really well in humid conditions. It gives you really nice shine. It is very easy to work with. It does give you that gloopy feeling. It has so many lovely ingredients in it. It is not upsetting to smell at all. Unfortunately, this gel does not give me too much volume. But again, I feel like this is a gel that you guys would really, really enjoy. Because it's super moisturizing, has some amazing ingredients, has some very decent hold and does really well in humid conditions as well. All right, so next, the Set Wet gels. I finally heard back from Set Wet about their cruelty-free status and they did go ahead and confirm that the brand is cruelty-free. So the blue gel is a little softer hold compared to this yellow gel. They're both CG friendly. So I would say this is maybe like a level three and maybe this is like a level four. I really wanted to like these gels because the price point is so nice. And you know that I'm always looking for budget options to recommend to you guys. Unfortunately, the gels really didn't impress me much. All that I can say about them is that if you're looking for a super budget option and you want like medium hold, then maybe these gels would work for you. But on my hair, they didn't give me too much shine. Both the gels are very easy to work with. They give you that nice gloopy feeling. Unfortunately, the gels didn't give me too much shine. And secondly, it didn't give me too much volume either. So at best, what I can say is if you're looking for a super budget friendly gel under 100 rupees and you want a little better than medium hold, then maybe these gels would work for you. Personally, I do not feel comfortable recommending either of these products to you guys. If you're looking for something that is super budget friendly and you want something under 100 rupees, you'll be better off making an aloe vera gel or a flaxseed gel at home. Next, we have a favorite of the curl community. I'm talking about the Giovanni LA Hold Styling Gel. So this gel gives you really nice robust curl clumps. It is a little more than medium hold, so it's like on the precipice of hard hold. I feel like a lot of you will really appreciate this gel. It gives you nice robust curl clumps till around day four. It gives you nice shine. It gives me medium volume, not high volume. If you guys are looking for something that resembles a hard hold gel in India and you're looking for a gel that is a moisture option, then I feel like this will be my number one recommendation to you guys. Next, I want to talk about the Arata Advanced Curl Care Gel. So this is a new release. This is a protein gel. It is a hard hold gel. It gives you really nice shine. It gives you really nice hold. It gives you incredible volume. The most volume that I've ever seen on my hair came when I used this gel. But this is a gel that I would only use on protein wash days. I would not use this on moisture wash days. So that is something for you to keep in mind. If you're looking for hard hold gels in India, the Giovanni is my recommendation for your moisture option. And the Arata Advanced Curl Care Hair Gel is my recommendation to you guys if you're looking for a protein option. The next two gels that I'm going to be talking about are not available in India. I'm sure you'll find them on Amazon, but you'll have to probably pay like an arm and a leg. So I would say definitely not worth it. But if you're ever going abroad or you have someone coming down, then the next two gels are my absolute number one recommendations to you guys. 
First is the Umberto Giannini Curl Jelly. This is the best gel that I've ever used. This is the gel that ruined me for every other gel that would come after it. It has amazing hold. It is a hard hold gel. It gives me incredible volume. It gives me incredible shrinkage. It gives me amazing shine. If I could only use one gel for the rest of my life, this would be my option. Absolutely the best gel that I've ever used and my number one recommendation if you're looking for a hard hold gel and you don't live in India. You guys also saw me picking up the Umberto Giannini Coconut Oil Scrunching Jelly from Dubai Airport. Now, unfortunately, I was going to buy the Curl Jelly, but this was out of stock and so I picked this one up instead. This is a very soft hold gel, very, very, very nice shine. But it's a soft hold gel and did not give me any volume, so I regret buying this. If you're looking for a super soft hold gel and you want something really nice and nourishing and you don't mind coconut, then this might be an option for you. If you're living outside India, of course. Alright, so the next gel is the Dippity Do Girls with Curls Gel. This is another incredible gel that I've used. It's a hard hold gel. It gives me incredible volume. It gives me really nice hold. It gives me robust curl clumps. It is very easy to work with. A little on the drying side, so you have to be careful when you're scrunching. But all in all, it does give you that nice gloopy feeling. It gives you robust curl clumps. This is another absolute favorite of mine. You can pick this up for five or six dollars, depending on where you get this from. I picked it up from Amazon America and I had it shipped to my aunt's place. This is almost always out of stock. So if you're living in the States and you do happen to find this, I would say grab it. If you enjoy hard hold gels, you will not regret buying this at all. The last few gels that I want to talk about are the Enliven gels. So these are not CG friendly. Number one, they have DMDM Hydantuin. We saw Tresemme getting into trouble because of this ingredient. DMDM Hydantuin does not suit everybody. It can cause problems for people who are allergic to this ingredient. Secondly, these gels do have alcohol. So again, these would not be my recommendation to you guys. I think I caveated my use of these gels very early on when I compared this gel to the Curl Up Gel. I did mention that it's not CG friendly, it does have alcohol, it does have DMDM Hydantuin. They are pretty drying on the hair. So why do I keep using it then? Because I'm holding on to the last dregs of this product. If I was able to get my hands on this, there would be no reason for me to continue using the Enliven Gels. I use it because they're available in India. It gives me hard hold. I don't have an issue with alcohol in my products. I always use an oil or a serum to SOTC and so I don't find them drying on my hair. But would I recommend them to you? Not really because if you're following CG then there's no need for you to use alcohol in the first place. I continue to use them because I have no other option. It gives me very nice volume. It is able to take my hair from day 1 to day 7. Since I've also reviewed and compared every single leave-in conditioner against the Enliven gels, for the sake of comparison and review, I prefer to keep all of my variables the same and only change one aspect of my wash day to truly see what a product is doing for me. That is why I continue to use the Enliven gels. But would I recommend them to you? No, I'm simply not comfortable doing that. A lot of the times when you ask me about the Enliven gel, I always point you to this video here. Only if you're completely okay with every single caveat and drawback that I mentioned in this video, do I tell you to go ahead and pick it up and see what it does for you. Ingredient wise, all of these gels are better. The Northwish, the Arata Original, the Fix My Curls Curl Quenching, Flaxseed Jelly and the Curl Up Hair Gel. These are the best ingredient wise. So obviously these would be my primary, my first recommendations to you guys. Only if you're looking for hard hold would I recommend the Giovanni Gel to you. And if you're looking for hard hold and protein, I would recommend the Arata Advanced Curl Care Gel to you. That being said, if everything went my way and I had a chance to pick this gel up, then going forward, this is the only gel that I would use. And on protein wash days, I would use the Arata Advanced Curl Care Gel. These two are my favorites, moisture, protein. Another product that I want to include in this video, this is the Katine No Alcohol Natural Hair Holding Mist. You saw me using this in my Flexi Rods video. This product has really, really impressed me. I wasn't that impressed with the leave-in mist, but when it comes to hold, I really like this product. It held my hair in place for many days, I think four or five days. If you feel like gels weigh your hair down, I feel like this is a really good option for you to check out. I'll also put my Flexi Rod video up here. 
so that you can see the process that I use, the way in which I use this product and the way in which my hair lasted. Low porosity, 2A hair that gets weighed down, I feel like this would be the perfect product for hold for your hair. Alright, so that was pretty much it. The last video in this playlist. So I've done a video on shampoos, on conditioners, on leave-in conditioners, on hair masks. And this is the last video where I've spoken about gels. If you're looking for all of these videos that I've just mentioned, check out the description. And if you're looking for a leave-in conditioner or a hair mask that is available in India, feel free to check out these videos right here. This clip is for all of you who requested that my doggy make a cameo in my videos. Thank you.